Hello everyone, Cole Boone here once again. I'm going to review something I think every shop needs, whether it's a hobby shop, or whether it's a mechanic shop or a fabrication shop like this. Every shop needs one of these. This is a nut and bolt thread checker. It's a string of pieces where you have both the male and female versions of a given thread. And the idea is to be able to take an unknown thread and try to match it up by testing it until you find a match. You've got a sampling of threads, the silver are the Imperial, otherwise known as SAE or inch. And then you have the metric, which are the black oxide. And if you got a nut and bolt and you want to identify it, you just take a look at what's close and just try it out. That doesn't work. Okay, that stopped about four turns, so it's probably going to be a metric. Yep, that's a metric. And if you want to find out what the nut is, you just do the same thing, except you use the opposite side. So you'll come over here and you'll try one out. That's a little loose. And that's not going to work. Maybe it's this one. No. Too big. It must be a metric. All right. So now we have those identified. And the marking is on each one of these so you'll know what it is. We've now identified that these are m12-1.75 metric there have been many youtube creators who have reviewed these things and they talk about how great these are and they do have their place like for example if these things are loose like this but i think this is only half of what you need to have an excellent nut and bolt checker so I want to show you why that's only half the tool. Here's an example of one of the shortcomings. Let's say that you have a countersunk item and you want to see what might fit in the thread that's behind it. This is the jaw that goes into a milling machine vise. So there's a thread behind it and then there's an Allen bolt that screws in, but it's missing. And so we don't know what that is. So you'll take this and you can't really get in there deep enough because this is so short and the cable gets in the way. So that is one shortcoming. Another problem that you have is if you're working inside of a tight space such as an engine compartment or deep inside of a refrigerator where the compressor is, you're going to have to lug this thing around and somehow try to figure out how you're going to get that in there without removing this completely. And this is just too much in the way. There's too, there are too many situations where this is not going to work. It's great if you've got something portable that you can bring to the thread checker but what if you don't? For example, if you're working in the engine compartment, there are many cases where you need to find out what the female thread is, and this is just too much of a hindrance in many cases. If you're working on an intake manifold, and many times the intake manifold will have studs screwed into the top of it that mount the carburetor, and you're expected to take this thing 
and it's just kind of clumsy and unwieldy to try to figure out what the male thread is using this as a gauge. All in all, I think this is a mediocre solution to a thread checker. But I do have an idea. First of all, forget about this actually being the checker itself and simply a holder for the checker. I'll show you what I mean. I've got a matching nut and bolt for every one of these keys. And that's the idea. I'm going to install the corresponding male thread into the female thread checker like that and the corresponding female threaded nut into the other side of the same thread checking key. So I'll do that right now. All right, here we go. So now we have a complete tool. Metric, both fine thread. This, these are the fine threads. You can probably see it's more fine than the coarse. Fine, coarse, fine, coarse for the Imperial. Now it is a completely portable tool and you can take known samples of nuts and bolts and use them in a portable manner. You can take them with you deep into the engine compartment without having to worry about messing with this nonsense and trying it out. This to me is the perfect solution for a net and bolt checker. I considered using stainless hardware for these corresponding pieces, but they're non-magnetic, so you won't be able to use a magnetic retrieving tool if you were to drop one. So that'd be a big disadvantage. Stainless would look a lot nicer, and they would be shielded from any future rust but I like the idea of having something magnetic in case something drops and runs under the table like it always does. Now you have a complete set. It's up to the task. It's completely portable. And this is the completed value added tool. Like I said before, every shop needs one of these. It takes the guesswork out of the equation with no more digging through junk bins, looking for various fasteners. And it saves unnecessary trips to the hardware store. Link in the description if you want to find out more information. And for these nuts and bolts that correspond to the male and female checker modules, you can go to your local hardware store for those. Be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks like these. You're going to love the way you look. I guarantee it.